Want to learn how to do any times table in one minute or less? Then click on the link below and master any times table you want. Now on to the video. Welcome back Intuitive Minds. In this video, we'll learn how to square any three digit number, but make sure you watch part one in the series of how to square any two digit number, as we'll be making use of the exact same method here. So do watch that before you carry on watching this. Otherwise, it may get confusing. You can find the link to that video in the comment section below. Okay, so before we begin, let's just recap the square numbers up to 100. Make sure you remember these, as they will always come in handy. Okay, so let's take a look at our first example. What is 113 squared? Now the way we do this is we take 113 and we split it up into two sections, section one and section two, or parts one and two. This is exactly the same as when we were squaring two digit numbers, where we would split the number up into tens and units. In this case, we have a section one consisting of hundreds and tens, and we have a section two consisting of units. So then what we do is we do the same thing as we did before, we square the second part or the units digit of the number. So in this case we have a 3, so 3 squared equals 9 and we put that in the answer line. And since there are no 10s we don't need to carry anything. And then for step 2 we multiply the two sections together and then we double. In this case section 1 is 11 and section 2 is 3, so 11 times 3 equals 33. Doubling that gives us 66, so we put 6 in the answer line and we carry the other 6. And then step 3, we square the first part of the first section of the number. In this case, it's 11 squared. Now using the same technique as we did in how to square any two digit number, 11 squared becomes 121. And since we have a 6 from before, we add the 6, which makes 127. So the answer is 12,769. And remember, this technique is to be used if you don't have a calculator to hand. Okay, so let's take a look at another example. What is 266 squared? So what we do first is we split the number up into two sections, section 1 and section 2. And step 1, we square the second part or the second section or the units digit and we carry any tens if applicable. So in this case, we have 6 in the units part or the second part. So 6 squared is 36. So we put 6 in the answer line and we carry the 3. In step 2, we multiply the two parts or the two sections and then we double. Add any previous tens and carry any new tens if applicable. So we do 26 times 6, which is 156, and if we double that, 156 times 2 is 312. Adding the 3 from before gives us 315. So we put the 5 in the answer line and we carry the 31. In step 3, we square the first part and add any previous tens if applicable. Now in this case, we have 26 squared. Using the same technique as how to square any two digit number, 26 squared becomes 676. Adding 31 to that gives us 707, so the final answer is 70,756. Let's take a look at another example. What is 786 squared? So what we do first is we split 786 into two sections. So 78 makes one section one and six makes section two. In step one, we square the second part of the second section or units digit and carry any tens if applicable. Here we have six again and six squared equals 36. So we put the six in the answer line and we carry the three. Step two, we multiply the two sections or the two parts and then we double, add any previous tens and carry any new tens if applicable. So we do 78 times 6, which is 468. Doubling 468 gives us 936. 936 add 3 from before gives us 939. So we put 9 in the answer line and we carry the 93 over. And then step 3, we square the first part or the first section and add any previous tens if applicable. In this case, we need to add 93. So using the same technique as we did in how to square any two digit number, 78 squared equals 6084. Adding 93 to that gives us 6177. So the final answer is 617,796. Let's take a look at another example. What is 913 squared? So what we do as before, we split the number up into two sections, section one and section two. 
In step one, we square the second section with the unit's digit. In this case, we have three, so three squared equals nine, and we can put that directly in the answer line. In step two, we multiply the two sections together. We add any previous tens, and we carry any new tens if applicable. So we do 91 times three, which gives us 273. Doubling 273 gives us 546. So we put six in the answer line, and we carry the 54 across. In step three, we square the first section of the first part. In this case, we have 91. So using the same technique, 91 squared becomes 8,281. Adding 54 from before gives us 8,335. So the final answer becomes 833,569. Try these for yourself. Pause the video or rewind back to recap the method and give these a go. And let me know how well you did in the comments below. I'll give you a few minutes and I'll join you in a few moments. Okay, so let's have a look at how well you did. So taking 103 squared first, split the number up into two sections, three squared equals nine. And then we do 10 times three, which is 30. Doubling gives us 60. So we put zero in the last line, carry the six. And then we square 10, 10 squared is 100. Adding the six from before gives us 106. So the answer is 10,609. Let's have a look at 256 squared. Split the number up into two sections. Then we do six squared equals 36. Put the six in the answer line, carry the three. And then we do step two, 25 times six. 25 times six is 150. Times by two gives us 300. Adding the three from before gives us 303. So we put three in the answer line and we carry the 30 across. In step three, 25 squared is 625. Adding the 30 from before gives us 655. So the final answer is 65,536. Let me know how well you did in the comments below. I hope you found this helpful. Do smash the like button, share with anyone who you think this may benefit, subscribe and click the notification bell for more tips like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.